Aloha, council members, chair. Thank you for having me. I'd like to disclose that I'm the founder of Bates Against Biotech. <laughs> we do GMO education. I'm also the executive secretary to Councilman Berg. And I thank God, because I think if I weren't in this position, no one would even know that this had been slipped out of the HSAC package. And I find that very concerning. But that's okay, because the time has come for you to stand up for the people, first and foremost. We need you to please restore the Maui County GMO labeling bill to the HSAC package. It's come to our attention that when it was transmitted from the HSAC president, it had both GMO labeling and the repeal for Act 55, which all of the counties have granted unanimous support for. To release the EMLA agenda the day before Thanksgiving at the very end of the day without it even posting online until the evening was shocking. What does it say to the other counties who have unanimously supported GMO labeling and the abolishment of PLDC? Perhaps if we cannot vote on the same HSEC transmission statewide, we should disband the Hawaii State Association of Counties package. If the Honolulu City Council is going to withhold legislation from public hearing, perhaps we should just ask Honolulu to make the HSEC package all by itself. And then whatever makes it past Honolulu, the other counties might be lucky enough to vote on. Perhaps you have the biggest stick. Will you help us? We the people have the right to know what we're eating. We have the right to choose GMO or not. Organic and non-GMO is not enough. When the majority of Americans are still not aware they're consuming GMOs, which are now banned in 30 countries due to environmental and health risks. This is not a debate on whether or not GMOs are good or safe. This is the right to know if you're eating something that has been gifted by the planet or genetically modified in a laboratory by major chemical companies, which are the subject of continued controversy and ethical concerns. California's Prop 37 for GMO labeling still has 3.5 million votes uncounted, yet the media called the election in GMO biotechnology favor before the count has even concluded. The FDA, USDA, and EPA are littered with GMO executives, and they will not protect us. They have not been protecting us for some time, as already 61 countries require GMO labeling. The U.S., with this carefully constructed image of safety and freedom, refuses to notify the public when they're eating food that other countries will not even feed their animals. The campaign funds of Hawaii legislators alone show over $391,000 of campaign contributions from GMO companies and their registered lobbyists. As the number of countries increase who require GMO labeling, such as China, all of Europe, Russia, and Japan, how do you think this will affect Hawaii tourism if we do not enable the right to know? We cannot leave this up to the federal government. This must come from the ground up. The enactment of GMO labeling comes from years of sweat and tears of the people who are here today urging you to have courage. Not the chemical companies who increase sales by engineering food to require heavy pesticides. They conveniently sell. What person who is not profiting in some way from GMO companies stands against the right to know? No one. This is the masses versus a handful of paid biotech executives who didn't even show today, although we've been very public. Do not worry about the state. We'll deal with the House of Representatives and the Senate when we get to there. We need your support now. Put your hands in the power of the people to decide in a free market what we'll spend our money on. Do not deny us. Do not deny Kauai, Maui, and Hawaii counties the legislation their communities worked hard to pass. Why here in Hawaii when so many other states are fighting to get GMOs labeled too? We must begin here because Hawaii is the seat of the GMO seed industry. They are using much of our prime agricultural land to grow experimental test crops, which are spraying chemicals such as 2,4-D and glycosphate, or glyc <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> which they're testing for resistance. We're importing more than 85% of our food and using our land to turn experimental crops and seeds for the GMO seed industry, which will be shipped out across the planet and harvest Hawaii no food. This is unacceptable, but this is why. This is why it has to start here. We must not delay. I urge you to please have the courage to protect us. I received a petition the other day from a 10-year-old non-GMO activist. The children are urging us, the adults, to protect them since they are not old enough to vote themselves. It is not your children who will see the potential effects of GMO foods in our diets. It is their children and their grandchildren. For federal approval, a three-month study is considered sufficient for public health in the U.S., while a major French study just showed tumor growth beginning in the fourth month of GMO consumption. Many studies show the strongest negative results of GMO diets occur in the third generation, where we see organ failure, problems with protein and cholesterol synthesis, endocrine disruption, organ enlargement, and problems with the kidney, liver, and spleen, not to mention infertility and sterility. We cannot afford to not label GMOs, and you can have the courage to stand behind it because we are here in Hawaii and we are being experimented on, and we deserve more than anyone to know if we are eating GMOs as the site of the world's foremost experimental GMO field trials. With or without our consent, we are being experimented on, so please be brave, and please be just, and please support the passage of Resolution 12 through 19 CD1. 
and past GMO labeling for the Kingdom of Hawaii. Mahalo.